At one time or another, most of us have probably daydreamed of escaping the daily grind and leaving our urban cares behind. Well, you can't get much farther from a big city than Death Valley Junction, California. It's a ghost town perched on the eastern lip of the hottest desert on Earth. So Marta has made a world here where she is recognizing the roots of her arts in painting and in dancing and in music. What part do you play in the opera house? Well, Marta and I have divided things, or actually things were just always divided. Marta does the creating. Somebody has to pull the curtain. The curtain is pulled up whenever Marta feels like dancing, whether or not there's an audience to appreciate her dream. Welcome to Death Valley Junction and to the Amargosa Opera House. May I present now Marta Beckett. did Broadway shows and the Port of Ballet at the Music Hall, and I had my taste of working for other people. But I reached a certain stage in my life when I realized I had more to say with my art than just being a puppet or doing what someone else said. In a dance about a woman who is rejected by a lover, I am showing a very painful moment in a woman's life on the stage that can suddenly be a thing of beauty it, it's a color, maybe of lavender, purple, or blue. One summer, our audiences had been very small, and we had a flash flood. And while we were mucking out the mud, I looked up at the blank white wall, and I envisioned it crowded with people. And I said to Tom, I'm going to paint an audience on the wall, because I knew it would make it feel filled with people. And I decided to paint an audience of the past because what I do on the stage has its roots in the past. I don't miss the crowds of New York or the noise, the street sounds, the hucksters. I was very aware of being rejected. Neighbor lady came through and she said, Marta, I don't really understand you. You don't do anything that's necessary. You dance and you paint, but what good is it? People ask me, you know, isn't it terribly lonely out here in the desert? I mean, how do you stand it? It's perfect for a creative person. Creative people have to be alone. They have to be by themselves and not surrounded by people because they need the time, they need the space, and the blankness that the desert can offer. But how can anyone be lonely when you have an imagination? And in the desert, why there's space for that to work. It's like an empty canvas that goes on and on and on. <laughs> 